What's up Yard Freakos and thanks for joining me on this video. So today is that special day of the year, the day when you get to mow the first mow of the season. And in this season, I'm actually looking forward to it a lot. There's a lot of things that are going down. So first things first, the first reason I'm excited is because I finally get to remove the tree stakes from my new trees after them being here for two years. You see, I had to go around the tree stake for this oak tree here for my Kentucky coffee tree, which is just gonna make striping in this huge uh, part of my uh, lawn much, much easier. And then finally, uh, I get to mow around neatly around my elm, which was hard because before, because of those stakes, you see, I would constantly be scalping right here because when I'd come in with the mower, it was just hard to, with the stake being like right here, being able to come in and do that. So that's the first thing, I finally get to mow unintruded, which is always nice. Speaking of lawns though, let's check uh, how the front yard got through the winter. So as you can see, it's looking pretty good. A lot of good green up. The snows out here in Colorado definitely helped out. We got a snow here last week, it was about six inches, so plenty of moisture. I haven't even turned on my sprinklers yet. And this is how green it's looking. Okay, we'll see how this area does so if you guys watch my videos from last year i had a bunch of sod wet worm damage so we're gonna see how it recovers may have to uh treat it very nicely and um give it some extra love and attention just to give the plants a chance to out compete the uh, bugs so we'll see how that goes Another reason this is an exciting season is because I'm going to be adding some more square footage in my backyard as well to grow my buffalo grass in. So as you guys remember last year from my videos, I spent all of my season more or less clearing out my backyard full of river rock and then putting uh, buffalo grass in. And as you can see, it's starting to wake up from the winter. It's starting to green up here. Uh, yeah, I mean... I think this is probably the best view you can see of the coverage I got. And as I said last year, I planted it a little too late and I knew I probably wasn't gonna get good coverage. So like for here example, just barely any coverage and over here too. And yes, I know I, I know you see all these weeds. It's because I didn't get good coverage and they were able to sneak in. And so for this year, what I've been doing is over the winter, I've been slowly but surely getting rid of the mulch in this garden bed here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the garden bed around to this post and then clean all of this out. Clean all of this out until I get right past this tree stump here and then wrap the garden bed back to that tree post. And then I'm going to add some more buffalo grass. And not only buffalo grass, I'm going to be adding something else as well. But that's going to be a surprise for another video. So like I said, this is going to be one heck of a year for my uh, yard this year. And I'm looking forward to it, especially now that I'm having to stay at home a little bit more often than I normally would. And, you know, it's nice to take breaks and go work in the yard instead of taking breaks and talking to your colleagues sometimes. So with that said, let's get started on mowing the lawn. Remember to always use fresh gas when you guys start up your mower again. Don't leave the, don't use the stuff. Or always make sure you empty the can before you uh, winterize it. And then use fresh gas in the spring because you don't want your old gas clogging up even, clogging up the mower. And yes, that's even if you use conditioner. So fresh gas always.
man, it's been a long winter. It felt really good getting that moment. So guys, uh, stick around. I've got a lot of good content coming out this year. Looking forward to putting it out for you. Feel free to comment, take it easy, and have a good week.